Welcome to the 10 West Building of the University of Bath. I'm Janet Bultitude, lecturer in Cognitive and Experimental Psychology. In the Psychology Department and the Centre for Pain Research, we focus on theoretically informed applied research on a diverse range of topics, including how we perceive the world and how to help people who live with chronic pain. Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, or CRPS, is a debilitating condition in which patients experience pain in one or more of their limbs, as well as swelling, temperature changes and other physical symptoms. Because the symptoms of CRPS are disproportionate to any inciting injury, researchers have looked to cortical changes for possible explanations for the syndrome, with a view to using this knowledge to develop new treatments. As many as 84% of people with CRPS report one or more symptom that suggests decreased attention to the affected limb. There is evidence that this attention bias might be related to the severity of people's pain and that reducing the attention bias could in fact reduce their pain. In the study that I'm going to talk about today, published in this issue of Brain, my colleagues and I examined whether people with CRPS have an attention bias for general visual information that is, visual information that's not just about the body. We recruited 24 people with CRPS and 24 pain-free control participants. Patients completed questionnaires about their current pain intensity, their perception of the size and shape of their affected body part, and other clinical and demographic characteristics. We measured visual attention using a widely used test called the Temporal Order Judgment Task. In our version of this task, participants fixated on a central location while two lights were projected in their left and right visual fields, right. separated by different amounts of time. Participants indicated with a vocal response which of the two lights appeared right. first, and the experimenter keyed each right. response into the computer. Left. From the responses recorded over many trials, we derived the point of subjective simultaneity. This is the temporal offset at which a person would report the two lights as appearing at the same time. If one light must appear earlier than another for the participant to report them as having appeared simultaneously, this is taken to indicate that the participant has less attention allocated to that side of space. In our study, a positive point of subjective simultaneity value indicates that the patient had less attention to the unaffected side of space. A negative point of subjective simultaneity value indicates that the patient had less attention to the affected side of space, which is what we expected. For the control participants, positive and negative numbers indicate that attention is biased away from the dominant and non-dominant sides of space respectively. However, we expected that the control participants would have no significant bias in attention. Each patient and control participant performed the temporal order judgment task three times with their hands out of sight, um, left. with the lights appearing on the backs of their uncrossed hands, and with the lights left. appearing on the backs of their crossed hands. Right. These three conditions were designed to help us tease apart whether any attention bias that CRPS patients show is strictly limited to body-based information or if the bias affects attention more broadly. Our results revealed that in the no hands and uncrossed hands conditions, the CRPS patients had a significant bias of attention away from the affected side of space compared to the controls. This is the main finding of our study, and to the best of our knowledge, this is the first evidence that patients with CRPS have lower attention to the affected side of space for general sensory processing, independent of bodily information. We also found that the CRPS patients had no significant bias compared to controls in the crossed hands condition. This suggests that there might in fact be a tendency to direct attention away from the hand of the affected side of the body that is separate to the tendency to direct attention away from the affected side of space. Patients' overall attention bias was related to the extent of their distortions in their perception of their affected limb, but not to several other factors of clinical and theoretical interest. Overall, our results support the idea that CRPS is accompanied by a relative decrease in the amount of attention directed towards the affected side of space, providing further support for the idea that there is a neuropsychological component to the syndrome. The success of the study relied on the help of many other people, including colleagues, the clinicians who helped recruit patients, and our participants who were so generous in volunteering their time.